Good morning, y'all. It is um, Tuesday. Our meeting last night went pretty good. Um, I'm trying a different angle with the camera. What's happening here? Ooh, it's very... Did you see that, how blurry it got? Maybe that's just me. Anyway, I have my camera on the floor um, in the tripod instead of up on the counter. I don't know if this is going to be better or worse, so y'all bear with me. Now, once again, I have chosen a recipe because it has buttermilk in it. I'm determined not to waste that buttermilk. So, these are soft buttermilk sugar cookies. Now, if these are anything like the soft sour cream sugar cookies I've made before, they're going to be amazing. They're so soft. Oh my gosh. They're like little cakes, and they're so good. Now, these call for some frosting. I'm not so sure I'm going to do that. But we'll see. You never know. Anyway, here's the ingredients. Half a cup of butter. Okay, I didn't have a stick this time. So I measured it in my measuring cup. That's not the only thing. Hold on. Half a cup of granulated sugar. Half a cup of brown sugar. It did not say anywhere to pack it. If it doesn't say pack it, I pack it. I love brown sugar. One egg. Three quarter cups of buttermilk. Now y'all, I had um, a cup and a half. So I put a little bit of water in my carton and I shook it up and made up the difference. <laughs> I'll be so lucky if these cookies come out, y'all. But you know, I'll be honest with you. If I screwed them up, I'm going to tell you. Teaspoon of vanilla, two and a half cups all-purpose flour, half a teaspoon of baking soda, half a teaspoon of salt. Now, one of the other things that's different about this recipe is you cook these cookies at 400 degrees and um let me see how long does it say oh and these have to be chilled too y'all uh where does it say nine to ten minutes so i've got the butter oops I've got the butter and the sugars in this bowl right here. And it says to um, mix them all together, cream them together. That's what it always says when you use butter or lard. At least it seems that way. Y'all, it's so amazing. I opened my phone up last night. Uh, after I got in bed, and there was Phyllis Stokes. Y'all, I was so happy to see her, and she made chocolate chip cookies. Not on her video, but she had made them the night before, and she got good rest that night, and it was just such a blessing to see our prayers being answered. And we just need to continue to pray for her. And um, so that's the deal, y'all. I was so excited to see her. It was so amazing. Um, okay, so I've got these mixed up pretty good. Okay, let me see. You know what? I know all this cookie making is getting so boring. So I may save this video and put it out a little bit later. 
Okay, so sugars. Add in egg, buttermilk, and vanilla. I just want to make sure this sugar is all, you know, mixed in good. Okay. One little eggy going over here in my pile. Okay, and I'm gonna mix that in before I put the vanilla and the buttermilk. You know, I'm always really careful when I'm putting eggs into any recipe because I want the white and the yellow to be distributed evenly. Okay, y'all, here goes this big jug of buttermilk. Now I'm gonna mix it just so that my little um, water and buttermilk is um, mixed good. So there that goes. Now this is the same measuring cup I'm gonna have to do my flour mixture in. And my teaspoon of vanilla. I got to get a bigger one, y'all. Woo-wee. You know, I was tempted the other day to get some almond flavoring because occasionally you'll run across a recipe that calls for almond. Okay, but I did not. So let's mix that in really good. Ooh, can y'all see that? It's kind of caramely looking. Oh! <laughs> oh, thank you, Lord. That was just a drop. All right. We knew sooner or later something was going to end up in the floor. Okay. Well, we've recovered from that. That's it. No more peeking for y'all. Now, this buttermilk has made this mixture really, really thin. And that's why you always have to chill stuff, is when the mixture is thinner than usual. So, that kind of helps it to um, thicken up. At least, that's my take on it. Okay, that's mixed up pretty good. Now, this is the consistency. See that? All right, you know what? That spatula is going to end up down in the middle of that bowl and I'll have to fish it out. Let's change places here. Now, it calls for two and a half cups. Two and a half cups. I think I better get a dry spoon. One of these days, y'all, I'm going to get um, some glass containers to put inside my cabinet that are nice and clear and I'm going to use them to put my um, sugar and um, you know all that stuff in there it looks nicer but also it lets you see exactly how much you have Let's take all that out. That's one. Y'all don't let me lose track. <laughs> it's going to be so hot, y'all. Um, and I really had in mind to pull some weeds today. And I believe I will get to some of them. That's a little tricky right here. Now that other cup was just 
a bit skimpy. So I'm going to add a little extra here. Yeah, did y'all notice when I made those cookies the other day that I was scraping my flour off into the bowl? <laughs> Nobody's called me on that yet, but I fully expect to hear about it. Okay, one more half a cup. Oh, there goes some flour on the countertop. That's always good. I told y'all how to clean that up yesterday. And I believe, let's see here. I'm not packing this. I'm just kind of smoothing the top off of it. Where's my marks? This thing is so old, y'all, you can hardly see them. Okay. We're calling that a half a cup. All right. Now, we need a half a teaspoon Hold on. Yes, a half a teaspoon of soda. There we go. And we need a half a teaspoon of salt. Not going to measure that over the flour mixture. There we go. Okay. And y'all know, isn't that pretty? That trash can's going to go right up under there. Dry paper towel. Clean that right up. When you're as messy as I am, you really learn how to do your cleanup the easy way. You have to. Y'all remember when I exploded the eggs on the stove? <laughs> oh my word. Oh my goodness. That was a lot of fun. And actually, it wasn't as hard to clean up as I thought it was going to be. So, let's make sure we got our baking soda and salt all mixed in here. I wonder what would happen if you just put it in there and you just gave it one little stir like that and called it good. You know, if I didn't mind wasting stuff, I would try that. I always thought it would be fun to be somebody in a test kitchen. I mean, wouldn't that be fun? Oh, I think so. Okay, so now we're going to add about half of this. There we go. And I'm just going to mix this in. Didn't say gentle. Didn't say beat it. So, we're going for the softer approach. One of y'all told me that um, if I'm not gentle on some of my cake mixes, then um, it can cause them to be dense. Now, I really didn't notice anything with that prune cake. It was supposed to be dense. I'm just... I'm ready to make another one of those, y'all. Okay, here goes the second little bit of flour. Ah! Heavy. Heavy. Y'all remember that song from... I was a teenager. And I can't remember the name of it, but the words were, He's not heavy. He's my brother. Now, y'all, I have got chill bumps all over me just from thinking about that wonderful song. It is so beautiful. So beautiful. I wish I still had that tape that my ex-husband made me with all of my favorite music on it. Okay, let's see. Mix until smooth. Okay, we're kind of lumpy in here, so that means I get to go a little faster, which is my favorite speed. Now, after this, y'all, it goes in 
the refrigerator. And let's see, how long does it say? One hour. Oh my goodness. Ooh, I can really smell that buttermilk. Now y'all, I'm sorry. I've been so busy with all this HOA stuff. My house is like it has a revolving door. So um, I really am gonna try to remember to tape this when I take these cookies out of the oven and as proof as to whether or not this works with my little uh, hinky stuff, if they're not a little bit tall and pillowy looking, it was a fail and I'll be sure to show it to you. So I'm gonna let you go while I do this and I'll talk to y'all later. Do something fun today. Bye now.